A major step forward in the race to vaccinate Americans against the coronavirus. The FDA has released its analysis of Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine. It's 66% 60, 60 effective overall and more than 80% effective at preventing severe COVID-19. The one-shot vaccine appears safe in trials, pushing it closer to emergency authorization for use. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden is taking executive action today to review critical supply chains of multiple products pertaining to the pandemic. Yeah, he sat down with a group of bipartisan House and Senate members as lawmakers prepare to take up his American Rescue Plan. CBS4's Natalie Brand is at the White House with details. The coronavirus pandemic has triggered shortages of critical supplies, prompting President Biden to sign an executive order to review supply chains for key products, including computer chips and pharmaceuticals. The executive order will also call for a year-long review of defense, public health, and transportation. The last uh, year has shown the vulnerability we have in some of the supply chain, including the the president hosted a bipartisan group of lawmakers as these shortages have impacted key U.S. sectors, such as car manufacturing. And these little chips here for automobile causing uh, some lines to slow down. The meeting also comes as the House has scheduled a vote Friday on President Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief package. The House Democratic Caucus is going to strongly uh, support the American Rescue Plan. This bill is too costly too corrupt and too liberal. The Biden administration announced Wednesday it will send out more than 25 million masks to communities hardest hit by the pandemic from March to May. These masks will be available at more than 1,300 community health centers and at 60,000 food pantries nationwide. And the administration says if FDA advisors grant an emergency use authorization for the one-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine later this week, it will be in position to ship out three to four million doses next week. An FDA review of the J&J &J vaccine found it to be safe and 85% effective at preventing severe illness, 66% protective overall, taking some new variants into account. Natalie Brand, CBS News, The White House. And several FEMA-supported mass vaccination sites opened up in New York and Texas this week. And there are plans to open up nine more next week. Four will be in Florida, including right here in South Florida. The other five will be in New York and Pennsylvania. Also, 780 military medical and support personnel will deploy to Florida and Pennsylvania sometime next week.